so today we will try to uh, we will try to deploy the credit card approval prediction task that we have done in the previous sessions using streamlet through collab so what is streamlet streamlet is an extremely easy uh, uh, python library that allows you to deploy machine learning models by creating interfaces for getting input and displaying output to the user so the procedure in which we use streamlet is as follows in google collab first you have to install streamlet and then you have to install ng rook ng rook is nothing but a websock link that allows you to uh, view the link that is created through collab in your local browser and so after installing ng rook you have to authenticate it with the uh, authentication id that you will get from the ng rook website and after getting that uh, ng rook always pushes the uh, website default to, to the port 8501 and this is the ng rook link and once you created this link you can go to this link after that you have to run the important command streamlet run the app.py so everything that we are planning to deploy the structure of the deployment code is inside this file called as app.py so let's take a look at it so here we have imported all the required machine learning libraries and data processing libraries like pandas we have imported streamlet as st here you can see that we are calling a function write from st so it, it, what it does is that it, it displays any text that you write within in the html format here like here you can see credit card default prediction app and here and you can create subsections and give headers for them as well so st.header will create a subsection and give the uh, section uh, header called as user input parameters and by default the size of the font size is smaller than the st.write here you can see yeah so the first step to deploy a machine learning model is to think of how do we get input from the user and the way to get input from the user is to have uh, an open text box or select box depending upon the feature whether the feature is a categorical or a continuous feature let us say we want to take a categorical feature like code gender and then we can use the st.select box which allows us to give a name to the boss, uh, name to the uh, field that is being entered code gender here and the different uh, drop down options that it can have m or f m for male and f for female here you can see that code gender m and if you want to change you can change it to f as female yes that's how you do it so that is how you can give options for uh, uh, categorical variables let's say if you want to give a continuous variable like uh, 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 amount of amount income total you can use number input and then tell the minimum value and the maximum value as example shown here so if we come down if here you can see here you can type let us say i found to write 120.35 dollars i can enter it and it gets uh, saved in the cache and so that's how you can input continuous variables you can also input continuous variables with a minimum step size for example the number of day num uh, the days days of birth is going to be uh, a, a whole number and so we would want in the values also in whole number and so we can use the same uh, function number underscore input to create a, uh, a field which allows us to uh, provide the minimum value and the maximum value along with the step size so that's how you allow the user to input information which is continuous and continuous with some step size so those are the basic functions that allows to get input from the user and once these all these inputs are uh, obtained from the user using select box and number input they can be collected as a the results can be collected as a dictionary and the dictionary can be collected as a converted to a pandas data frame finally and once we have obtained the pandas data frame we just visualize it back just in case to for the user to confirm all the properties given by him about the inputs given by him about the user is right or not 
and after we display the next step is pre-processing the pre-processing is same as we what has been done in the model develop uh, model uh, modeling stage of the uh, problem where we categorize some features as binary continuous and categorical features we apply encoding and then we convert everything to a numerical value and after all this is performed we just display the input that is going to the model after all numerical conversions and here And after it is done, we get a message called as done. And if you can create sub 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 headers after doing, so the input user input task is done. And next is the sub headers. So the after the sub header, uh, so after the uh, pre processing is done, one can. Uh, one can call uh, one can call the we call the stored model which is stored under the name finalized model dot sav and then we create another subsection with the subheader called classes labels and their corresponding index numbers so here subheader creates a text creates a new subsection with a font size lesser than the initial user input parameter so the only bigger section is the input parameter and everything else is a subsection and here we 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 write uh, subhead subheader whether if it's a prediction it will it will it will we give the prediction subheader and we give the corresponding class label depending upon the prediction and we also provide the probability of approved or declined depending upon the uh, under the subheader prediction probability so here you can see that yes so you, here you can try to change the input parameters. And see any and see that the and see that the model changes the output. Yes. So this is how you will be able to locally deploy a machine learning application using Streamlit and NGRook.